it shouldn't come as a surprise to anyone that consumption-based price models are really becoming the norm. People are moving away whenever possible from large uh, cap X investments and moving towards consumption base. And if you're not using it, you don't pay for it. And a study done last year showed that sometime in 2018, the expectation is that half of all IT spend will be on a consumption basis. By 2020, that number goes up to 80%. And again, the beauty of Azure Stack, you're not buying Azure Stack licenses in the old world model. Instead, you're paying for what you use. And with Azure Stack from HPE, you pay on a consumption basis. So if you've got a, a medium-sized system and your usage spikes up to, to use more of those compute nodes, and then it goes down later, well, we monitor the consumption on a monthly basis. So the price goes down when the usage goes down. That's a huge advantage over other people who are offering only a CapEx model or some kind of a lease agreement where the price goes up, but it never goes down again. This is a little more detail on how the consumption price model works, but the key is that the price actually does go down. With a standard lease agreement, you can stair-step it so that if you start off using four nodes and then you go to eight, well, then you pay for eight. So it delays the inevitable. What, what we provide with GreenLake flexible capacity is that if you go up to eight nodes and then you go back to six nodes, well, when you go back to six nodes, that's what we charge you for. So it's, it's a cost model that's very well aligned to what the cloud consumption model is in the first place.